Hello, what's up? Ali here for some updates on our latest PS4 jailbreak. And on this video, we will cover the latest addition to the methods that we currently have. And also discuss some new firmware supports for our gold hen. And also address or answer some questions that we have received from our comment section. And later on the video, we will also discuss our expectations that we have on our PS4 jailbreak scene. So first, uh, our latest addition is uh, we have received our Droid PPPWN port. So uh, this allows you to use a uh, rooted Android phone to activate your jailbreak. Unfortunately, I haven't got any Android phones yet, or at least a rooted one. That is why uh, I'm still not able to provide any tutorial right now. But uh, as soon as we get one, you can expect that on our channel. But basically, you will need a rooted Android phone for this. Slightly more convenient compared to using PC or Windows. But you will need uh, more gadgets to be able to use this on your PS4. And to those who are requesting uh, to have a uh, tutorial or a guide for this method, uh, you can expect that as soon as we get our hands on a rooted phone. But in the meantime, you can find the link on uh, Wololo regarding this new method. And they also provide the procedure and also the links of everything that you need to be able uh, to use this method. You will find the link on our description. So just open the link and you can find everything that you need on this website. Next is we have a new firmware supported by the Gold Hen. So this is a good news or a great news for those who are stuck on the firmware 9.60. But if you are on 10.50, you don't have any choice but to upgrade or update to 11.0 to be able to load Gold Hen. But before you do that, since there are some PS4 specific models that can take advantage of this exploit, you may want to go ahead and check on your PS4 first to see if you will be able to lose the exploit without the gold hand. If you are able to lose the exploit, that means that your unit or your PS4 is not part of the uh, some PS4 models that are having some issues with the current jailbreak. But for now, aside from 9.0, we have support for 9.60, 10.0, 10.01 and 11.0 and to those who are asking is it worth it to wait of all the firmwares that we have just mentioned the best support or the best firmware that has the best stability and the success rate is 11.0 personally i would still uh, prefer moving up to 11.0 if you are on 10.0 and 10.01 based from our past tests this waiting is just relevant for those who are stuck on their firmware because there are some ps4 who can undergo a uh, update because of some hardware issues they really have to wait for the golden support of their firmware but if you have an option to update i would recommend or at least personally i would recommend updating to 11.0 this is not like our previous jailbreak, like what we have on the 5.05 and 6.72, 7.02, 7.55, and 9.0, where every version are different. If you are on 9.03 to 11.0, basically they are the same. And since most of the tools are being tested on 11.0, this is what I think the reason why it is more stable on 11.0. There are some who are thinking that there may be some features that will be available on lower version but unfortunately that is not the case if you are on somewhere between 9.03 to 11.0 you will be using the same exploit chain and unfortunately based from our past tests we have the best results on 11.0 so is it worth the wait unfortunately no if you want to have uh, the best success rate for your ps4 if you are already on 9.3 and above just go ahead and update to 11.0. But then again, this is just my opinion. It is uh, your PS4 and it's your choice. If you want to wait and you want to keep it as low as possible, then you have every right to do that. My point here is that this is not like the previous jailbreak where every version are different. So how about those who are on 11.02 and above? If you are on 11.02, then you can definitely revert your PS4 to the previous uh, version. And since there are no version after 11.0 but 11.02, so most probably, if you revert to the previous version, it will be on 11.0 or lower. So if you are on 11.02, you can go ahead and have a revert on your PS4. But unfortunately, you will need a flashing tool for this and some advanced soldering skill. Now for those who are on 11.50, unfortunately, um, we don't have uh, some good news for you right now. 
you may do a revert but unfortunately you can only do a revert once if your previous version was on 11.0 then you are in luck after a revert you will be able to jailbreak your ps4 but there is some uh, gray lines here because uh, since there are some specific models that are definitely having some issues with the current jailbreak it may be just for nothing so what i can definitely recommend if you are on 11.50 is just you know just wait for further developments and uh, now for the uh, one of the best news that we have uh, received lately is some guys or some company are now developing a tool as an alternative for the raspberry pi basically this one is supposed to be more stable and a lot cheaper and since this is still on the early stage of development we can still expect the price to go down so for those who don't have a pc or a rooted phone or can afford a raspberry pi uh, you can uh, wait for this actually the distributions have already started and this is actually so much cheaper than the uh, raspberry pi and even cheaper than the orange pi so this is definitely the best alternative that we have since this one is a lot smaller and this is uh, basically designed for the ps4 pppwn exploit and the good news on this is this gadget will have an online support so it will be easy to update this device but it also comes with a bad news because uh, since uh, they are already preparing for this exploit so to those who are hoping that there will be uh, a different exploit that won't rely on the uh, network of the ps4 unfortunately that won't be the case at least uh, for the next few months so what i can suggest is uh, as soon as uh, this device get some uh, full-blown uh, distribution i would suggest that you get your hands on one but before you uh, make any purchase um if you have any chance just go ahead and try if your ps4 can activate the latest jailbreak and now for our expectation um actually i have already mentioned my expectation i don't think we can expect any more jailbreak uh, aside from the pppwn at least in the next few months or maybe even years because uh, they are already developing some gadgets to complement on this method so right now the only thing or the only option that we have is to choose the best method that will work for our ps4 and to those who are still uh, using a uh, pc or any method that they currently have right now using rest mode will definitely help save your time for your next gameplay but on the other hand since we are getting these supports i'm sure there will be more support on the pppwn that can make it even more stable or at least more convenient so this will be it for now if you still have any questions or suggestions you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and uh, we may even uh, feature that on our next update video and again, this is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.